Hi Libra, how are you guys today? We're doing like a quick video about what signs are you going to marry. So everybody feels individually in here. So um, for each sign, okay? So Libra, who are you going to marry? What signs? What signs are you going to marry? Three cards, please tell me the signs. So we're going to look at the signs of the card and I'll also give you meaning of the card. All right, three, three cards, please for Libra. Well, who are they going to marry? What signs are they going to marry? What signs are they going to marry? We have seven of pentacles. Okay. What sign are they going to marry for Libra? When they do marry, what sign are they marrying? We have um, Pisces, nine of cups. One more. What sign is the Libra going to marry? Oh, okay. Um, magician in reverse. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we have five of wands. All right. looks like Libra, you're going to have a lot of options. I'm also hearing plenty. Okay. So you're going to have a lot of options. They can be, this is the main energy over overall who you're going to marry. All right. Um, it can be fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be, but someone could come in very fast and spicy and just fiery okay they could be in this kind of quick energy that they have to swoop you up they have to win you over um they could be feeling like right off the bat um you know there's a lot of competition for you that they have to stand out of the crowd okay with especially with this five of wands energy yeah libra shoot i mean as we speak you got eyes on you already i mean besides the point back here i mean but you have, you know, literally, you guys got eyes on you, okay? You guys got a lot of people watching you and wanting to spend, um, they just want your time, your affection, your love, okay? And you know you can only give that, you know, your undivided attention to one of these people, but that's what I'm saying. With the five of wands, it talks about um, not just conflict and jealousy and envy. It also talks about... Um, people in competition for each other just in competition um fighting not getting along not on the same page feeling um like they have to win win over okay so that's what i'm saying we're talking about marriage who you're going to marry and you're going to have a lot of options okay you're also going to have someone from your past now that i'm looking at your cards you're going to have someone from your past with the six of cups right behind that five of wands you're going to have one of these people, okay, from your past. Can be a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. But they're coming back, all right? They also want to compete for you. Wow. Yeah, it looks like, too, okay, the person from your past makes you happy. Or either if it's not you, um, if it's not you feeling happy about this person from your past, it is the past person. You make them very happy, all right? We got strong Pisces here showing up and who you can marry, all right, Libra? We have a strong Pisces here with the nine and ten of cups. We also got Scorpio here. So we got, um, they could be a fire energy, like I said, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They also could be a Scorpio with the six of cups. All right, they also could be a Pisces too. Strong Pisces here for you guys, Libra. Okay, um, we also got a Taurus with the Seven of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus can be, doesn't have to be. And we got a Taurus energy coming through, okay? This also could be an energy that you could marry. Someone is very stable, committed. Um, they do take their time with the Seven of Pentacles. They're not rushing. As you can see, he is pausing. He's taking a break. It's also a weight card. And he is looking at his progress and what he's done before already. Okay, and they look ripe. These pinnacles are big. They look ripe. They look ready to be picking. See, one already fell off. So that's what I'm saying. This person is just taking their time, looking back, reflecting, looking at what they want to do next with you. Okay, um, and, um, you know, you and this person from the past or something like that um, could have about seven years together. All right. That's also coming towards me, you know, coming to me. Could, you guys could be, if it is someone from your past you end up marrying, you've been knowing this person for at least up to seven years, okay? We also have the Nine of Cups, like I said. So the main energy here 
strong Pisces I saw already. Then we have also Virgo and Gemini with the Magician in reverse. Then we have Taurus. So Taurus, Pisces, and strong Virgo and um, Gemini. The strongest sign I've seen for you guys already is Pisces. You got the Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups. Very close to the bottom of the deck when it's turned over. All right, guys. You guys could definitely be water, uh, marrying a water sign. It came out as water, all right? They want to say water. You guys could definitely be marrying a water sign. Strongest out that water is Pisces that you could be marrying, okay, Libra? If you are going to marry a water sign, you guys are going to go with someone that is a Piscean. Um, I don't see um, Cancer or Scorpio. I did see Scorpio here once, but Pisces here twice, all right? So, so for some of you Libras, you probably will end up marrying a Scorpio. Others of you guys, you guys are going to be marrying some water energy here, okay? Um, other Libras, you guys could marry Earth, okay? You could marry a Taurus. Some of you guys, others, could be marrying a Virgo or a Gemini. Let me see. So with the Nine of Cups, you guys at the moment could be having wishes coming true, Libra. Um, so, yeah, you guys could be um, wishing for someone, um, praying for someone. Some kind of wishes you guys are doing, okay? This probably hasn't manifested yet. Magician is in reverse. There is a message though, Libra, just um, someone that you might date in the past, has dated in the past, I'm sorry, if you have dated in the past, and, and the person that you do end up marrying, they've dated in the past, all right, that person could be envious of your new relationship with this new person, okay, either on your side or the other side. Either on your side or her side, his or her side, all right? So what I mean by that is someone could, they could have done magic on you i'm talking about the past person okay because they do see that you got like a lot of competition your attention's everywhere else you also could be very busy just focusing on yourself and stuff but as you guys can see this past person is still stuck on you you are what makes them happy that's why the ten of cups is right behind the six of cups guys so i don't know um for some of you guys magic could have been at play in the past Okay, it didn't work. It is in reverse. Um, the person that's doing the magic could have definitely been a Virgo or a Gemini as well, all right? They don't have to be, but they could be those signs. Also, you're manifesting someone that is very stable, that will commit to you, that is grounded. Um, definitely commit to you as in marriage, all right? With that Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Um, you guys are manifesting someone that is, you're manifesting marriage, okay? I also see that Libra for you guys, okay? Most of you guys are manifesting um, marriage. That's it. Let's look at these signs here. Signs for Libra. Who are they going to marry? Who are they going to marry? No, they didn't just roll off of me. <laughs> we have number seven, Okay. And we also got the seven of pinnacles. So seven could be significant, Libra, in who you're going to marry. Um, who knows? They might have seven letters in their name, something like that. They're telling me it's going to be something. You could be seeing the number seven. We have the sun energy here. We have Leo, okay? So some of you Libras are going to marry a Leo energy. Sun energy. Um, very, um, that is the... I think it is the fifth house, uh, Libra. You guys can marry into the fifth house, which is a Leo. Yeah, you also can marry someone into the twelfth house, which is a Pisces. I already told you guys about that. Taurus, you can marry into the second house. All right. Um, and then we got Virgo and Gemini. Okay, which is um, we have both. Let's see here. That is uh, Mercury energy. Oh, yeah. So um, you're going to know who this person is you're going to marry. They're going to be very talkative, okay? You're going to be able to talk hours with them. Um, you're, yeah, you're not going to be able to shut them up, all right? They love to talk, okay? That's what I'm getting. I'm hearing chatty. I'm also getting happy. 
So they love to talk. It's what makes them happy. They like um, real, um, real interaction. Okay, they like face to face. This person does not like um, texting and chatting over the phone. This person actually likes to come over and just interact with you face to face, do things with you. They're very active and they're very chatty. And like I said, they like to talk all night. Um, and they like to talk about anything and everything, okay? That's what I'm getting right now because um, those two energies in this um, magician card. So I'm still reading it as upright, guys, okay? I just told you the meaning of it in, in reverse, what could have been going on, all right? Um, it's not everybody's story, but um, Gemini and um, Virgo, both ruled by Mercury, guys. So, yeah, that is the uh, third house for Gemini, and which is communications and then we got um virgo's house which is the sixth house for um work and health yeah hmm we also got other sign aries so strong fire is out water libra and then we got um earth this person's going to be a talker heavy communicator they also might do that for their job all right that's how you're going to know who you're going to marry libra okay this person could be a speaker they could travel around and speak they're going to be using their voice okay um, they're going to be using their blue chakra a lot okay um Oh, and they also could be a boss. I did see the emperor, but I didn't want to throw out too many signs. I don't want to confuse nobody. But um, this person could be a boss, a business owner, someone that is well established. Um, yeah, they also could have been married before. But I feel like you know that, especially like this person um, from your past or something like that. Or the new person, okay? The new person could um, definitely tell you about a divorce they had. They're going to be older than you. Um, and they're also going to be established, okay? So they're going to be on the job a long time. Um, they're going to be in a, a high position as well. You'll know about all of that later as you get to know the new person. But that's who you guys have. Your main energy that could be coming towards you now that you can marry is a Pisces, okay? It's right smack in the center, at the moment um this person could also be um a mixture of things but at the end of the day they're going to love to talk that's how you're going to know who you're going to marry they're going to talk a lot okay they could also um communicate a lot their job is communication like i said they could be over a lot of people a lot of communication i'm also seeing busy this person could work a lot they could be very busy is what they're telling telling me they're saying busy busy all right, so this person's busy. That's how you're going to know who it is. But they're going to take time out for you. When they meet you, if you haven't met them already, this is what they're doing, okay, um, Libra, for you. They're taking the time out to get to know you and, and to invest in you. They're going to invest in you with that Seven of Pentacles, with the Nine of Cups. It looks like you're going to definitely be their wish fulfillment both ways, okay? You're going to like them, and you're also wishing for them. They're wishing for you, all right? Maybe right now this hasn't manifested at the moment with the Magician in Reverse, Okay, and like I said, someone from the past could have also did magic on your love life, all right? Because we are, this is the title. It's like, who, who what signs are you going to marry? So that's what I'm saying. Their magic failed, though, all right? It failed. It returned to cinder or whatever. Either you guys knew to protect yourselves or whatever is going on here. But it, whatever they did in the past, it failed. All right, and I also covered this um, Libra. You guys are going to have a lot of competition. So there's going to be um, a lot of options, okay? But you are going to be settling down with someone that is very earthly, but also very open and direct, um, a very much a communicator. And like I said, older than you and just an emperor energy, okay? And... Um, they might bring kids from that marriage when they, you know, how they divorce. Because the emperor most likely is divorced. He's established already. All right. So most likely this person is divorced. I keep getting that as well. But, you know, you know, you're going to, you could be the mom to the other kids. Okay. He's got a family already, guys. Through a divorce. All right, guys. So that is it for you, Libra. I hope it makes sense. I hope it resonates. Until next time, guys, take care.